what do we have here? It's benchmark time. What's up, guys? I'm doing the ultimate benchmark test. I'm going to go all the way back through generations for the Snapdragon processor. I got the Snapdragon 800 processor, Snapdragon 801 processor, 805 processor, 808 processor, 8. 10 processor and 820 processor. I'm going to do the ultimate benchmark test. Get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up, guys? This is Eric again with another video. So today I got the ultimate benchmark test. We're going to see where Snapdragon have came along in the last couple of years. I got the Nokia 1520. I got the HTC One M8. I got the Nexus 6. I got the Motorola X Pure Edition. I got the Nexus 6P. I got the OnePlus 3 Snapdragon 820 processor. So we're going to run uh, a couple of benchmark tests. Unfortunately, the Windows Phone doesn't have all the benchmark tests. I believe it only have like two benchmark tests, but that's okay. We're going to test it anyway. So, uh, every all apps are clear. We got a clean reboot. And uh, so today, we're going to run 3D Mark and 2.2 Benchmark, GFX Benchmark, and Geekbench Street. So the first test we're going to do is 3D Mark. Unfortunately, the Windows Phone will have to be left out. So we're going to do 3D Mark here on all devices so let's go all right so the benchmark test uh for the 3d mark is done so we got the 801 processor uh which ran a score of uh 1324 and that is the htc1 m8 uh also so now we got the nexus 6 running the 805 processor that give us a score of 1336 uh we have the motorola pure edition ran a benchmark score of 980 with the 808 processor in it. That's surprising. Uh, we have the Nexus 6P uh, ran a score of 1484 and uh, the OnePlus 3 dominated with uh, the 820 processor which is 2544. Alright, so we're going to go down to clear all this out here or we're going to clear all apps. Alright, so the next benchmark test uh, we're going to run what's called Antutu Benchmark, uh, which uh, the uh, Windows Phone does have Antutu Benchmark. So we are going to run that with the other devices. The Antutu Benchmark test is done. So let's go to look at some perspective scores here. Uh, we Again, we got the Windows Phone guys, and we got a score of uh, 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 23822. Put that in there. I had the Snapdragon 800 processor. Uh, the 801 processor on uh, the HTC One M8 is uh, 64285, and that's 64285. And surprisingly, uh, the Nexus 6 came in a whopping 78625, and that's 78625. Uh, and uh, the 808 processor uh, with the Motorola X Pure Edition. Uh, Got it came a little slow. Now, this is the second test this device came in uh, under the 805 processor. So, 66472 there. Uh, and the 810 processor came in at 82088. And that's 82088. And the one plus three came in a whopping 139. <laughs> wow. 139588. All right. So, let's put this in perspective here. 8010 processor. 810 processor and 820 processor on the OnePlus 3. Uh, and wow, and believe me, uh, the, the performance is here on this device. Next test, which is GFX Benchmark. And uh, we got GFX Benchmark here. So we're gonna go and close all apps. A GFX Benchmark here. So on this Benchmark test, we only go do the T-Rex test. That's one of the tests that I like. So we go start the T-Rex test here on all devices. All right, so the T-Rex test is done here. So let's go down and check out the perspective scores here. The Snapdragon 800 processor guys, we get about 15 frames per second uh, with a score of 8 to 53, and that's 15 frames per second. Uh, the 801 processor, uh, we get 30 frames per second here. Uh, 1656, which is 30 frames per second. The 805 processor is getting 30 frames per second. So we are definitely getting 30 frames per second here. Uh, the 808 processor, again, third 
time in a row that it came in uh, uh, second to last at 25 frames per second there. Uh, and uh, the 810 processor is uh, 30 frames per second, and that's 30 frames per second. And the 820 processor, 60 frames per second on the OnePlus 3. So we're going to close that out. Geek Bench 3. So we're going to run Geek Bench 3 on all our devices. All right, so the test is done. Our final test is done. Uh, again, we can't test the 800 processor and I don't have any devices uh, right now that has the Snapdragon 800 processor. So we got the 801 processor. Uh, we got the single core score of 1014, multi-core score of 2934. The 805 processor, which is the Nexus 6, uh, can give us a score of uh, 1059 and a multi-core score of 3255. Uh, the 808 processor, Processor, I, get, I guess a comeback after uh, be, it real, did real bad in the first uh, two bit, three benchmark test, I guess. It's 1230 and 3301. And the Snapdragon 810 processor on the Google Nexus 6P uh, is uh, a 1066 single core, 4379 multi core score. And the OnePlus 3. Uh, we have a single core score of 2347, a multi core score of 5439. So, as expected, the 820 processor is the winner of all other devices. But now, one of the things that you might ask is what about heat? Uh, so let's go to do a quick temperature check before we let you guys go. Yes, the, uh, the HTC One M8 is hot, the Nexus 6 is not hot. The Motorola Pure is not hot. Uh, the Nexus 6P is not hot. And uh, the OnePlus 3 is not hot. So the only device that's hot is, uh, and uh, yes, ooh, this is a little warm. And we only did two benchmark tests. So the only device that's really hot uh, was the, um, the HTC One M8. This is Eric from Me's Computer Solutions. I just want to share with you guys all generations here of Snapdragon processors. Leave me questions down below. Let me know what you think. See you guys on the next video. Peace.